Alrighty, we just refreshed this and there's class tuning, hotfixes, dragonfly beta, warlock, and disc priest changes. Oh no, we've been getting a lot of changes recently. And I think the changes that we recently got were really, 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 really good. And um, they were things that made us stronger in arenas and a little weaker on the rated battleground side because we were overperforming in my opinion in there. And we were underperforming in the arenas. So hopefully they are not going to change anything. The only only thing that I can ask for, the one thing I just don't like, I do not like, is the schism challenge. Mind games cut in half and then we get a schism change where it's 15% um, increased damage. I think this made a lot of people mad, but in the end, if you actually played it right, um, it was actually a 10% nerf on schism. If you played it right, you actually did hit harder than holy with mind games by 5%, but you had to cast a whole nother ability and you had to change of penance right after that and then into a mind games. So it's kind of really bad designed. I did not like it, but we're gonna go into it. This is what we're looking at so far. You know, oh yeah, we're not looking at anything. <laughs> but but here we go. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's just read this. This is something I was having a lot of fun with. This is the best talent they had. Harsh Discipline, when Atonement is healed a total of 200 times, then your next Penance is free and fires three additional bolts. This is super good because just you were constantly healing with Atonement. That's the entire point of, you know, Discipline is Atonement healing. And I think it is really, really fun playstyle. I love it. I think I did have a comment on one of my videos. I was talking about what if they had a healing side of discipline. Uh, they said they missed that. And I said, what if they had a one side where it was straight healing and then one side where it was straight atonement healing? Also, like your pendants on one side um, healed for 50% stronger. It was 50% increased on people. And then on this side, which you couldn't get both. They're the bottom row talent. So what I'm saying, for example, and then one side made your penance 50% stronger damage. What if that was the case? Something along those lines. I think that'd be really cool, but here we go. Harsh discipline, super fun, cool ability. Think it was greatly designed. We got it not too fast, not too slow. Ready battlegrounds. We definitely did get it really fast. I'm not going to lie, but now it got changed from instead of 200 times on heal healed by atonement, every 10 casts of smite your next penance is uh, an additional three bolts free and fires three additional bolts i don't know why it marks out three additional and then it says an additional three bolts um so instead of 200 atonement it's every 10 cast of smite rank one it's every 10 cast and rank two it's every 10 cast okay so um it looks like it's actually going to be every five cast of penance this is going to be really weird because I don't know if this is good or not. It seems like five is really not that many. You just press five smites whenever, you know, smite does heal off from atonement. So it's not like you're really losing too much. Smite is not a big mana cast. I mean, waster at all. It only costs 200 mana. It's no mana at all. It's going to be 1% of your mana to get that, um, you know, that, that pig free penance. So I'm, I'm thinking this is not bad, but the thing is the problem is with this that i don't really like as much it's gonna put us in a weird situation is we already have enough buttons to press we have schism which i i hate i don't like at all please take it out blizzard hate schism i don't want it i do not want it it is unfun it's just no i don't like it at all uh we have schism we have mind blast we have to play with and you know, we have our dot that we have to keep up at all times. We have atonement we have to keep up at all times. We are pressing smite, but it's not like a big thing. We're not really pressing it. And this actually affects some one of my talent builds that I was talking about in one of my videos. And that is one of, uh, at level 70, I was thinking about going into wheel and woe and, um, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yes, your opponents, th this right here, wheel and woe. Your penance bolts increase the damage of your next smite by 12%, the absorb of your next power stacks up to seven times. So I was thinking the cool build would be like, we're not really using smite anyways, we don't need to, we have other abilities, as in schism, we have to press, so we're not really pressing smite all too often. You know, we could pr play and then get this up, this stacks up to like seven times, so we could stack it up and then do a big old smite, 
but now it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So maybe, hopefully, since we're seeing this change where we're actually going to have to press smite constantly, um, yeah, I think that they should change wheel and woe. I think they should make it where it stacks to maybe 24%. And, or sorry, it, every time you penance, it should um increase the damage by smite by 24%, and it should only stack up to three or four times. So maybe maybe even stack up 30% or something and then stack up three times only because this is uh, really going to be weird. We're never ever going to get it stacked seven times. So I don't even know honestly if we'll ever play that. I don't know. We might, maybe not. I, it just seems pointless now. This talent, it just kind of gets, it kind of just, this just ruins it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um i'm really curious about this though i'm not gonna lie because five smites that's that's really not much so we what we can get it back every six seconds if we just spam smite so that what does that mean we can have a big penance every single penance because penance is on an eight second cooldown if we really wanted to if we played with somebody that had a bunch of off healing what we just uh you know, keep an atonement on him. Penance, smite, 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 penance, smite, 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 smite penance. <laughs> you know, we're doing enough atonement healing from that alone to keep him up, probably. I'm, I'm sure of it. So this is definitely a weird one. I really, really liked the atonement healing one because this made it super, super fun in a rated battleground. So fun. I was having so much fun with this in rated battlegrounds. This, this was by far definitely the, like, the talent that I liked. And it's kind of harsh to see them, uh, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of harsh to see them change it up. But at the same time, I don't know if it's for the good or the better. I don't like casting Smite in the first place. Um, I love casting Smite, actually, when I don't have to press Schism. I don't like Schism. It's not in a good ability. Uh, it says 25% right now, but it got nerfed to 15% on the beta. And it, it's going to be 15% in Dragonflight, obviously. So I don't think it's really a good idea for that. But, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see, of course. I'm, you know, this is just my opinion. First glance at it, first thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, it's, you know, I could, I could love it. I could love it for all I know. But I really liked the Atonement healing. I don't like pressing Smite whenever I have Schism to press as well. Feels awkward. It feels weird. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much just my thoughts on it. Um, also heard that a flick warlock changes. No, this isn't it. Never mind. Never mind. There's another video where warlocks got their defensives nerfed and good job, Blizzard. Um, thank you so much. I have been facing warlocks as shadow and boy, oh boy, <laughs> it is just ridiculous. <laughs> can't kill them they can't kill me but i can't kill them you know it, it'll be an under geared warlock that's why they can't kill me and but i can't kill them fully geared shadow priest versus a uh, under geared warlock we're just sitting there just casting attacking each other for like a solid two minutes no cooldowns from them they they press their dark impact or their dark shield like two or three times while we're fighting each other 1v1ing and then we finally found i finally kill them because they're not doing any damage to me <laughs> super annoying so thank you so much for getting rid of that but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say we're gonna have to see what else what how this goes actually into the game i am really curious about this obviously it has not taken effect just yet it has actually when you're telling me i see all the total of 100 times I don't, I don't know why I was thinking 200 times, but uh, 100 times. So it, it was, maybe maybe they thought it was strong. Maybe just go back to this. If they think it's too strong, what if they changed it up to 150 times? Because 200 times does seem like a lot, I'm not going to lie. 100 times doesn't seem like that much, especially in rated battlegrounds. And arenas, yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer. But uh, maybe like 125 or 150, somewhere around there. Maybe that would be a, a good range. I don't know. I'm not sure. 2v2 arenas, I think it would be a little bit. So maybe this change is actually shooting for arenas to, so they can get this uh, penance back a little faster instead of the rated battlegrounds just getting it time after time after time after time. Maybe they're making it a little bit more consistent. I did just think of that. I don't know why I didn't think about it a second ago. But, you know, there it is right there. So... <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about in the comments about this change because 
kind of confused. Don't like the smite ability. Take Schism out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Peace out. <laughs>